Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Nathan from Freedom Influencer. In this video, I'm gonna be going over eight steps to become rich. Now, this video right here, the title is something along those lines about eight steps to become rich. But what I wanna share with you is how to build an online business that can give you wealth, all right? And I'm gonna go through eight steps on what I believe can actually help you in a, a practical way to grow an online business, all right? Now, I've done this for myself. I've built a six-figure business right here using the power of the internet, and I wanna go over these eight steps that I've laid out with you. Uh, I go over some mindset stuff, but I also go over some of the marketing and, and the tactics of what it truly takes to build a successful business using the power of the internet. Now, before I go into these steps, I wanna let you know that this channel right here, if this is your first time here, you've never seen me before, this channel is all about how to make money online, how to create a passive income, and also how to ultimately create a life that can truly give you freedom. So if you want more videos on that, I invite you guys to go down and subscribe, hit the bell notification, so that way you receive notifications of videos that I put out in the future, which I'm putting out at, on a consistent basis right now. And at any time of this video, if you feel like dropping a comment, go ahead, drop a comment. I'll engage with you guys down there. And if you get any value, uh, definitely go hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate uh, that from you guys. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna be sharing some amazing stuff with you in this video and knowledge that I have gained, but it's not just about knowledge. You may have heard knowledge is power, that is not true. Knowledge is nothing if you do nothing with it, okay? Knowledge is power when it's applied. So it's applied knowledge that is power. And I just wanted to reiterate that fact right here in this video because so many people don't understand that sometimes the, the information that they get is so valuable, but they don't understand the value of it because they don't apply it. So if you apply it, I'm telling you, this is based on my experience and how I've created a successful business online, what I believe can help you guys, all right? So I'm gonna go through these eight steps, all right? There's eight steps that I've laid out here to build a business that can give you wealth, that can make you rich, okay? And I truly believe that. So I've laid them out, let's go over them one by one. And the first one is to visualize. So many people don't take just five minutes to actually visualize what you want, all right? And I want you to not just visualize and think about what it is that you want, but I want you to put yourself in that position mentally. I want you to visualize the life, the business, the freedom, even the money, uh, whatever it is that you want. I want you to put yourself in that position and, and feel what it would be like. And this will give you an understanding of what you're doing this for, okay? So create a vision of where you wanna go. And you can even get specific with this in what car do you wanna drive? What house do you wanna live in? Where do you wanna travel to if you want to travel? And be specific, visualize it. And, and I want you to visualize yourself there now because that's where we're going, okay? That's step number one is to visualize. Number two, before we can go into anything else is right now, you have to decide. You have to decide that you're going to do this. And so many people, you'll, you'll see all these rich people, right? And what you have to understand about successful people in becoming successful is that people get there by making a decision in the position that they were at before they had the success. So wherever you're at in your life right now, you can simply decide Right now, you may not know what it looks like on how you're gonna go about this, but if you make a decision and, that, and you see that other people are doing it who are no smarter than you, why can't you do it? There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason, but you have to decide. And it's important to make a decision and say, I'm gonna do this, I don't care how long it takes, I don't care how much work it takes, I'm gonna make it happen. And there is power in making a decision, all right? So number two, is to actually decide you're gonna do this, all right? Number three is to believe, 
All right, there's a reason that I have a sign here and it says believe is because even before I created the success in my life, I understood the power of actually believing that I could do it. And when you understand that and, and you know how powerful it is to believe, to not just go through motions, anybody can go through motions. You hear fake it till you make it, right? So many people will live by that business model, just fake it till you make it. But the problem with faking it till you make it is your belief level is not there. That is the problem with that. There's nothing wrong with modeling success and doing what other successful people, and to be completely honest, that's what I've done to get my business to where it is today, is simply modeling other people's success and applying that into my own business, and I've been able to create a successful business online. But just faking it till you're making it, not having a belief, you're screwed. It is so important to understand that if you believe it, then your chances of achieving it skyrocket through the roof. So actually believe it. So now we're going to get into some of the, the tactics of how to grow an online business. All right. So I'm excited to share some of this stuff with you. Number four is to pick a niche. All right. Now there's so many different niches out there. And honestly, there's so many different profitable niches that you can go into. Now, my recommendation is, you know, there's, there's three different niches that you can go into that are super profitable to build an online business. Okay. It's health, wealth, and relationships. Those are the three niches that are super profitable. One, because the demand is there's so much demand for it. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, uh, when they're looking into growing an online business, I get emails about this. Should I start in whatever niche X niche, or is it too saturated? Here's what I want you to understand. If you build a brand and you build a business around a specific brand being you, it, there is no competition because you can build a business around you and it's human nature to connect with specific people. So if you do the work, you will build a successful business. There will be no competition. And that's another mindset hack that you can use to literally guarantee your success as far as saturation goes. To understand it's not saturated because nobody is me, nobody is you, which means you can build a successful business. So choose a niche, pick something that you know is long-term, that you're not gonna get burnt out on, something that you're passionate about, okay? That's what Steve Jobs talked a lot about, is if you're gonna do something, do something you're passionate about. And the reason he said that is because he knew, he knows that um, it's gonna get hard. There's gonna be times you're gonna wanna quit, but if you have a passion for it, right? Or if you, in step one, visualized it, and you have a passion to do it, then all those obstacles, all those, those hurdles, you will overcome them. So pick a niche that you're passionate about, all right? So that was number four. Number five is to now that we've picked a niche, number five is to pick a business model. How are you going to build your income? What are you going to do? Are you going to sell courses? Are you going to create a Shopify store and sell products on your own website? Are you going to build an uh, affiliate marketing website or a business through affiliate marketing? There's also Amazon FBA, right? So there's a lot of different things that you can do to grow an online business, but what you need to do is to pick a business model that you like, that you know is profitable. How do I know it's profitable? You simply go see if other people are creating success with a specific business model, all right? Now, if you wanna know what I'm doing and how I've been able to build a successful business online, I will leave the training uh, below where you can get started in your own online business. It is my number one recommendation for business model. I'll leave a link in the description, okay? So number five is pick a business model. Number six is not optional. You have to do this, all right? And that is to create a sales funnel. Now, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, doesn't matter what business model that you choose, you must have a sales funnel, which basically is a way of, after the fact that you have attracted people to content, whether that be free content or through ads, after you've gotten people's attention, you funnel them through a sales funnel, typically by driving them to a landing page by giving something away for free. And after you give that free gift away, 
you then send them to a sales page or something that you're offering. After this, you know, most people are not going to buy. They go into an email autoresponder. So you're building an email list and then you can start following up with your leads and then converting them into sales. This is what is called a sales funnel. It is a crucial piece to every single successful online business. You cannot leave this out. If you do, you may create success, but it may be in 30 years from now, okay? It's very powerful to build an email list and be able to communicate with tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people at the push of a button, okay? Now that depends on how long you've been building your business, all right? Excuse me. So, number seven, now we're talking about the marketing piece, okay? And this is, you need to find your one thing. All right, now there's a book called The One Thing. Here it is right here. All right, and it's by uh, Jay Papasan. All right, if you don't have this book, I highly, highly recommend that you go grab this book. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon and you give it a read because basically what he talks about here is finding the one thing that if, if you could only do one thing, and this is very important for people who are limited on time, like me building my business while I was working a full-time job, right? I'm very limited on time. So you have to figure out, what is the one thing that I can do in my business to grow it? Today, right now, if I don't do anything else, but I do this one thing in my business, is this the thing that's gonna grow my business? So what you need to do for this step, for step seven, you need to figure out what is it? What is the one activity that I can do that's going to grow my business, all right? And that is crucial in marketing is to grow your business. So figure it out, what is it? What is the one thing that is going to grow your business? Now, for, for me and for most entrepreneurs, it's it, the marketing piece is to create content. It is content creation. That's my one thing is if I'm limited on time, I go, okay, I don't have a lot of time to work my business. What's the one thing I can do? Create content. That's what I'm going to do. Now, depending on where you're at in your business, if you've grown your business to where you've, you've built up an income to where you can invest into ads, it might be run an ad because now you can just invest into money to reach more people. And the point of content creation is to reach more people. And so if you can do that by paid marketing, that may be uh, the route that you want to go, all right? So this leads us into the last step, which is now execution, okay? It is to take action. And this is every single day in your business, you should be moving your business forward, doing something to grow your business. And so this goes back to step seven for what is your one thing? And now into step eight, it's execution and execute every single day on that one thing, at least on that one thing, all right? Uh, building a business, there's multiple steps. There's multiple things that you need to do to be growing your business, to, to building your business. But if you could narrow it down to one thing every single day, just ensure that you are doing that one thing to grow your business, okay? Now, every single one of these steps has led me to where I am today in my business. And by any means, I am not saying I'm some massive guru, okay? Uh, but I've, I've recently hit some milestones in my business. Um, you know, and I don't wanna say that, you know, I'm nobody special uh, because I have created special results. But what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I don't come from a rich family. I don't come, you know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I'm just someone who has created some massive results in my business, which I'm so grateful for. Um, and I, I will give you guys some, some earnings. So basically I'll share with you my goals that I had set at the beginning of the year. And it was to have this year, my first $10,000 month. All right. That was my goal. It didn't matter if it was in the beginning, middle, end, end of the year. I just wanted to have my first one or $10,000 month. All right. And fortunately, because of what I've been sharing with you, because of putting in the work, focusing on my one thing, 
hustling, getting it done. Um, my results have been amazing and I've actually been able, able to create over six figures this year and six figures actually was just over six figures, but it was just within the last two months in 60 days. Very, very grateful for it. Um, and, and that's what I want for you guys is to build a business, build a life that can give you freedom, like truly, honestly, to build a life of freedom, whatever that means for you. If you want to travel, spend time with family, quit your job. I don't know exactly what your goals are, but I believe that if you implement these steps, it will absolutely help you to obtain that and build that. And like the video title, become rich so you can live a life that you want to live a life of freedom a lot faster. So I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, let me know in the comments below and hit that thumbs up and I really appreciate that. And of course, if you want more videos from me on marketing, on making money online and passive income, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, so that way you can find my videos uh, in the future. This is Nathan Lucas with Freedom Influencer. Thanks for hanging out with, with me here today and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.